what I've done with this compilation uh, is just go through a series of, um, of cases of white cataract where it may not be as straightforward as your... I mean, we, we know that white cataracts are difficult in themselves anyway. But what, what I've done here is to show three videos where there's, there is an added layer of complexity, um, which makes the, the clinical situation more difficult. And the first case that um, um, I'm going to show is, uh, is a patient who actually presented with angle closure glaucoma um, and had short axial length and, and a white cataract. So you can see that we're, we're making our incisions into the eye. And again, because this is an angle closure eye, the... Uh, keratome incision is slightly longer. I'm using the, the, vision, the vision blue here to stain the anterior capsule and the technique I'm using here is, is sort of direct, um, just injecting it into the anterior chamber. And then we use some Helon GV here to flatten, really flatten the anterior capsule. And now what I'm doing is I'm going with a needle uh, because uh, this is something we discussed uh, previously um, as to how to, what's the best way of decompressing uh, the uh, the lens um, and and I find going in with this 26 gauge 25 gauge needle um, is most controlled. And then I know that I'm not going to get the rexus running out because of high intra lenticular pressure. So that's on a syringe. <clears throat> that's on a that's on an empty syringe. Yeah, um, and, and and literally just put it in and, and aspirate um, right. and try and get get fluid out. Yeah. So we're just, we're just continuing with the capsular axis um, here, as you can see. Uh, try and make it as wide a axis as you can, but as safely as you can, because um, some of these lenses can be quite quite big, difficult to get out. So um, uh, particularly in the angle closure situation, um, and you just need to control the axis. And you can see that the axis proceeds fairly routinely now, now that you've decompressed um, the, uh, the lens. Um, and then, you know, the case really from this point on, uh, proceeded in a fairly routine manner. I don't know if you want to stop here and ask me any, any more questions about it. So this is just showing my chop technique here. Mm -hmm. I use a, a horizontal chop, um, and, uh, and I find that's... Oh, yeah, yeah we, we could talk about the rexus a bit more, because yeah, you, you've, done, you've controlled the rexus beautifully uh, in this case, and yeah, some of these other intumescent cataracts, uh, you know the rexus always wants to run out. And you know you want a big rexus so you can have less stress on the zonules. Uh, but yeah, I, I tend to yeah like to start small, and uh, we we sort of discussed this before. But yeah, you kind of circle out like a like a peeling an orange just about. And uh, it, I don't know whether you show that technique uh, in in one of the other cases, but uh, yeah, I've had to do a case like that recently, so I can always add that video in uh, so I uh, yeah start small spiral out and it, it is uh, a technique that uh, takes longer but yeah speed is not uh, <laughs> is not the winner here you know it's it's the safety as you say if you enjoyed this lecture so far please subscribe to http colon forward slash forward slash op dot vision I hope you enjoy this series as much as we have putting it together. Thank you.